Good morning. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Southeast Louisiana. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Here at the Center, we are spiritual renegades that encourage you to create connections and heal that within, within you that needs healing so you can live your life in joy and enthusiastic expectancy of your good. So let's begin with prayer. We just take a deep nourishing breath and settle into that divine space, knowing that God is love and joy and peace and ease and grace and freedom. And that all that God is, as individual expressions of that divine, we are and we have right within us. So today, what I know to be the truth is that we're talking about kingdoms three and four of consciousness. Those kingdoms in which we live with love as the essence of all being. We see everything from the eyes of love. And we move into that space where the divine is moving through us. <sighs> so I know for each of us that we are finding kingdom, kingdom three and living in that space, knowing that everything that's happening on this planet is love or a call for love. And that we can be the eyes and the ears of the divine. Hmm. So I'm knowing that there is something in the message or in the meditation time or in the reading that is touching each person that is watching this. And that we're moving even more deeply into that connection with that divine being that we call our higher self. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I know that the God without is the God within me and the God within each person in this community and each person on this planet. And it's from that gratitude that I release these words into the law of mind, spirit, and action. Because what I absolutely know to be the truth is that the divine has already called it good, already seen the seeds that we've planted and seen the beautiful flowers that are growing from that. So I can just let it be. I say amen. And we affirm it together. And so it is. Well, it's a beautiful day out here, uh, May 3rd. And today our topic is Kingdoms 3 and 4 of Consciousness, which are the more spiritual topics of consciousness. And then to prepare you for the lesson today, we begin with meditation. So take some deep nourishing breaths. Release anything from the outside world that it took for you to come to this place and settle down to see this Facebook Live event. Become aware of your breathing. Awaken to only this present moment. In Creative Mind, Ernest Holmes tells us this. There, through the door of our thought, we enter into a complete realization of life and truth of love and beauty. And as we sit in the silence of our own souls and listen, it will be the greatest thing that we will ever do. Hmm. So as you continue to breathe, I invite you to see yourself opening the door of your thought 
and entering through that door into your mind's eye. Imagine that you see love, beauty, truth. There's an amazing life there. Feel your connection with your heart. Imagine what it would be like to describe this scene of love and beauty to your friends. And I invite you to find a resting place in that place of your mind's eye. To sit in the silence of your soul. And just listen to what the divine has to say. So as we return from the silence, I invite you to bring back with you what you noticed while you were in that space. What was it that the divine had to say to you today? Notice you, that you, how it was that you were feeling. Knowing that this divine presence might tell you something that was the greatest thing that you would ever do. And throughout the week, I just invite you to embrace that experience. Let it be one that's etched in your mind to cherish and remember. Imagine what it would be like if you lived your life as you, though you believed that you could be in that place of love and beauty and truth and an amazing wonder every day, every moment. And so it is.